Josh, after weeks of spring training, this is this is your team, 2014 Padres. In what way is this roster better than what you had last year? Uh, it starts tonight. I think we think our pitching's better and, and potentially more dominant. And uh, you know, Andrew Kashner, Tyson Ross, uh, the way they pitched in the second half last year and have this spring, uh, having Ian Kennedy, I think we strengthen our bullpen. Um, you know, pitching's important. I just think we have more talent, more potentially dominating pitching on our roster than we've had in a couple of years. Now, how about your catching situation? I know that, would, that became a topic during the spring, uh, the possibility of, carry, of carrying three catchers. Rene Rivera is making his first start tonight behind Andrew Kashner. Why, why, why three catchers in the first place? Well, uh, a couple of reasons. One, um, you know, Yasmani Grandal's injury. He's, he's passed every test this spring, but I don't think he's quite ready to go out and catch four or five days a week uh, for six months. So I think we just want to control his workload. Two, Rene Rivera's out of options, and it's a guy we want to keep. Certainly didn't want to expose him to waivers. And then, of course, Nick Hundley's you know, a very solid player. So, um, you know, Rene Rivera, I think, showed us last year that his defense can really impact a game, impact a, 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 a pitching staff, and, um, you know, particularly did well with, with some of our power arms. So uh, he gets the call tonight, and uh, I think he'll do a good job back there. Now, a different face than the left field tonight starting, that's Tommy Medica. How did he come out and just and flat out earn, earn his way on this roster? Yeah, he had to do a couple things this spring. He had to keep hitting. He's always hit, but um, you know he had to really swing the bat to make the club and had to learn to play second position because uh, it's just the, something we always preach: the versatility. Uh, you never know how you're going to break in. Teams like the Cardinals, you know, I think even a young Pujols, uh, Alan Craig, those types of guys, when they break in, it's usually where the first spot's available. Um, so we wanted to give Tommy another position on his card, and uh, you know, I get to start in left field tonight. Yeah, I think there was a bit of a setback, though. Carlos Quentin was having a very good spring. Seemed like he was avoiding, avoiding the injury bug. He starts in the DL. Where is he, and when do you realistically expect him back? Yeah, it's, uh, it's kind of good news, bad news. I mean, obviously, we'd rather have him healthy, but um, it's, it's really unrelated to his other injuries with his knees. He just Unrelated. unrelated. Uh, he, he tried to make a sliding catch, really banged his knee, and, and, and got a bone bruise. So it's not soft tissue volume injury. It's just one play, dove, and banged his knee, and, and it really... Uh, uh, created a bone bruise. So I think, you know, our medical staff actually felt really encouraged by how he looked and felt all spring and all off season for that for that matter. So um, there's a feeling on the other side that we'll get a healthier cue. Um, but for now, we just got to let this injury heal and uh, uh, be smart about it, trying to get him out there as much as we can over six months. And lastly, what about Josh Johnson? What's the realistic expectation for him and his return? Uh, it could be May. I mean, he's felt good ever since we, we shut him down. The swelling's out. Uh, his arm feels better. Um, but, you know, again, I think until he, he has to get on the mound and throw a uh, low to mid-90s, Josh Johnson slider, uh, you know, that's the test. He's really got to pass. But, uh, you know, he's definitely felt better since we uh, uh, kind of let the whole elbow calm down over the last week or two. And last thing, how competitive do you expect the NL West to be this season? Very. I think it's always uh, a tight division. There's generally... Uh, you know, it's better and probably more uh, equal than most uh, really? people realize. I, I think, you know, even the Dodgers within the division last year, you know, didn't dominate inside the division. They did a lot of their damage outside. So we all, you know, there's a lot of rivalries there. There's, uh, we can kind of beat each other up. Um, and I don't think there's any, like, sort of pushover team. So every series is contested. Every game's contested. And uh, uh, that's fun. I think that's actually good for the other four teams chasing the Dodgers uh, because I think uh, just the wins are, are really hard fought in this division.